you know, it was another design reveal this week because it was one of these makeover weeks as Kansas City gets its first chance to see what the new downtown streetcar will look like. The mayor unveiling that design at the first Friday's event. The city expects to buy four cars at a total cost of $20 million. Each car holds about 145 passengers. The price tag for the whole streetcar system is expected to be around $100 million on the two-mile route running from the River Market to close to Union Station, primarily along Main Street. So what's the verdict on that new design? We are such a large, fragmented, metropolitan area. And if I lived down there, I would think this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, Dave Helling's colleague, Yel Albahaka, called them sexy. It's a sexy streetcar. The fact of the matter is, if you live south or far east or up north, they can be sexy all day long, you're likely not going to get a lot of use out of them. So A, for design, and for me, I live out south. Will I drive all the way down there to park my car, get out, use it, go a mile, come back, get back in my car and drive out south? Highly unlikely. But we were talking about image, though, Neil Jones. We started with the logo and how people perceive of a city. Um, this is a, a very sleek-looking vehicle. How uh, much is it going to cost? It's, well, it's $100 million for the entire <laughs> $100 system. $100 million. Dollars. For the entire system. And the entire system goes for how many miles? Two miles. Okay. Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is a But start. it's free to travel on this. There you, you go. You don't pay a dollar oh, to go. Free. It's absolutely free. Well, and there may be the biggest problem is this is going to cost the city to continue to maintain this sexy streetcar, but it's the start of something they hope goes much further than this. Look, the mayor and City Hall and I have had our disagreements, and I don't like the way they funded this. I don't like the way they put this on the ballot, but the streetcar in terms of changing the image outside of this city and making it something other than a cow town, I applaud it because Kansas City needs to move forward, and this type of transportation does that. The question just becomes, really, in the end, how much is it going to cost me, a Kansas City taxpayer? And, uh, well, and what does it cost the taxpayer? Because it really was just coming out of um, the, it was individual property owners right. who were living in the, a certain now, area of downtown. But, but I think what Stacy is suggesting is that if there is a major expansion at some point, ultimately the people of Kansas City will have to support it in large part because no mass transit system in the country really pays for itself, ex with the exception maybe of New York. I will say a couple of things, Nick. First, if Yale, you know, my friend Yale thinks this is sexy, he needs to get out just a little bit more. <laughs> and second, uh, okay. and second it, it, this is the definition of what Emmanuel Cleaver once called touristy frou-frou. It is a two-mile starter tourist-related streetcar system the, the success or failure uh, of it will be determined by whether it's expanded and made more an yes. integral part of the community and not something that tourists like to get on to ride between the city market get and the Get me from Union Brookside Station. to yeah. the plaza. And we'll see. From Leewood to Brookside, and we'll, we'll see. talk. And, and, we'll that, and that is conceivable. It is conceivable, but it will not be cheap, and it will not be paid for by the business owners downtown. And it won't be It'll, paid for by the feds it, either. Right. It'll have to be paid for say, by local. How much is it going to cost right. me? And they're already talking expansion.